Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Michaela, and today's video is going to be my April Q&A. Um, I'm sorry the background's not cute, but this is what I got, so this is what I'm going to use. Um, so yeah, this video is going to be a Q&A, and I'm excited because I love Q&As. I just feel like they're very relaxed, and I think they're fun to edit. You guys get to know what's going on in my life currently and stuff. So yeah, I have stuff written down that you guys have asked me off of Instagram and I'm just going to get right into it. The first question is, why didn't you keep trying to breastfeed Graceland instead of giving up? So if you didn't know, I breastfed, breastfed Graceland, who is my daughter. She's two months old now. Um, I breastfed her for four days. Um, now my goal was to breastfeed for a year. I did breastfeed my son as well and he is almost two years old, but I only breastfed Graceland for um, four days because I just didn't want to breastfeed anymore. Um, there's no real reason behind it. My milk was coming in just fine. Um, I had plenty of milk. She was gaining weight, everything like that. She could latch to my nipple fine. It was just, I didn't want to do it. Um, I liked bottle feeding better and I felt like it worked for me and my kids better. How do you respond to people slash family members criticizing your parenting? Um, this happens not a lot, but not like a little bit either. Um, it kind of just, it really just depends what I'm doing and what they're criticizing. Like if I'm doing something wrong, I would obviously like somebody to tell me. Um, like whenever it was winter and my son was six months old, I started putting him in the car seat with a coat on. I did research after people, um, like after you guys commented on my videos telling me that wasn't safe and I felt that it wasn't safe and I stopped doing it and I still don't do it now. So, um, I feel like it just kind of depends. Like if you're doing it to help me, then I don't mind. But if you're doing it to be like ignorant, then I do mind. Um, like to say like, you're a young mom, you don't know what you're doing. So I'm going to tell you what to do. I don't like that. But if you're doing it to help me, then I do. Would you recommend being a teen parent? No, 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 no. I do not. I do not recommend anybody being a teen parent. I don't recommend it to anybody. Sure, some people handle it really well. Like, I feel like personally, I handled it pretty well for being 16 and having a child and now being almost 19 with two children. I feel like I personally handled it very well. But I do not, do not ever recommend anybody having a child until they're financially stable, until they have their own house, until they have a partner and that they're married to and, you know, just like the basic things that you should already know in life. Um, I really wish I would have waited. I wish I could have had a college experience. I wish I could have had more experience with friends. I wish I could have gone through high school with a regular experience. I wish that now I could just do things I want to do. Like, I'm now realizing that I'm, like, now that I'm an adult, I'm realizing that I can't do things that I never thought I would miss out on in life, but now I do. And, um, it just, it really sucks sometimes, but I wouldn't trade my kids for the world. Um, but do I recommend it to anybody? Absolutely not. Just wait. Just wait. Wait until you've done everything you want to do and you've accomplished all of your goals and then have children. Trust me, you'll be so much happier. Are you still hyphenating Timmy's last name? So if you didn't know, uh, my daughter's last name is Adkins Morrison. So her name is hyphenated with both me and her father's last name. Um, I would love to hyphenate Timmy's last name to be Adkins Morrison as well. And I, um, I think I still am doing that. I would love to. So I'm going to look more into it, see what all I have to do. But yes, that is definitely still on the table. I just haven't had time. Are you having any more kids? As of right now, no, I am not. Um, I will once I'm married and have my own house and a good job and everything like that. But in the near future, near future, absolutely not. I just want to calm it down and wait until, you know, I do everything I just said. What would you have named Graceland if she was a boy? If she was a boy, I would have named her Everett um, after my great-grandfather so I would have named her that or 
There was another name I liked that I really wanted to name her, but I can't think of it right now. But um, Everett definitely would have been her name or his name. Which of your pregnancies was the easiest pregnancy? So the easiest pregnancy for me was Graceland, just because I was so sick all the time with Timothy. Um, but also neither of my pregnancies were easy because whenever I was pregnant with Graceland, I also was taking care of a toddler, which made it really hard. But I feel like if I didn't have Timothy, it would have been like the easiest pregnancy ever. Like I was only nauseous for like a few days and um it was just overall a really easy pregnancy but because i had a toddler who was huge it was hard what is your reason for moving on to a new guy so fast so basically me and kaylin have broken up over four months ago and um there is like no reason for me moving on so fast other than i found somebody that i was interested in he was interested in me i got to know him he's a really great guy and um we i just wanted to be his girlfriend and i wanted him to be my boyfriend um so there really is no like specific reason like i don't see a problem with it i still take care of my kids my kids will always be my number one priority um it's just that i found somebody i really cared about and i also feel like me and my ex's relationship was over way before we declared it over um so i just feel like i was ready to move on so i did i wasn't gonna wait just because i have kids you know i just don't see a point in that has anyone met your boyfriend yes my grandparents have met my boyfriend my kids have met my boyfriend and um they all really like him why do you take your comments off of your instagram posts um so i just do this because i get a lot of negative comments on instagram specifically and i just don't like reading it so i just take the comments off so it can always be positive has your ex met graceland yet yes he has he was there when she was born and um he came over for a while um once we were home again uh, like once i came home from the hospital and she came home from the hospital are you moving out of your grandparents house um no i'm not right now um if i feel confident moving out and i feel comfortable and i find a place i really love then yes i will but as of right now no where do you think you would be in life if you didn't have timothy and Grayson? honestly i don't know where i'd be in life and i don't want to think where i would be in life without them because my life is 10 times better with them um like i said earlier in the video of course i do miss out on things that I wish I could experience, but they're my world and I wouldn't take them back for anything. What are you planning to go to college for? I am planning to go to college for nursing. At one point I was gonna go for cosmetology, but that's because I got pregnant and I wanted a job um, as soon as possible. But I feel like nursing is the way to go for me because that's just what I love. That's what I really, really want to do. So I am going to go to college this year for that. Last but not least, how do you feel about being so young with two children? So, of course, it's a little bit embarrassing and I always feel like I have to explain myself to people or like um, people have a lot of questions like, how did you let this happen? Oh, you're almost 19? How do you only have, how do you already have two kids? Um, like, it's just, it's very embarrassing and um, it's just kind of hard to explain and um it just kind of makes me feel like i look bad even though i'm not like a bad girl and um you know it's just i feel like people look at me different because of it but i love my kids and i'm happy i have them that is all for my april q a i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope to see you all in my next video